Hello, my name is Lee, and I'd like to welcome you to this brand new video series on the foundations of Unreal Blueprints. So this video series is not particularly uh, a tutorial on how to create something specific. Um, instead, it's to show you the sort of um, the, the the very basics of the of some of the nodes and what they do and how they're used, and to, to demonstrate them. Um, hopefully clearly and uh, concisely. Um, the purpose being is that once you have uh, mastered that, you can then use that to um, bring into your own projects and really sort of build up um, your knowledge. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is probably the, the most simplest, is the most, uh, probably one of the most important as it is, uh, uh, it's going to be used widely across all your projects, and that is understanding what a Boolean is. So in in computing, especially in, in computer programming, a boolean is a value, uh, essentially a binary value, that says whether or not something is true or false, if it's on or off, if it's yes or no. So it has two states, and um, these, these sort of two states are really useful for, for example, for checking things. In our particular example, we are going to set up something like this, or we're going to use something like this. When the player walks to this area, which is going to be my virtual door, and behind my door I have this you know, sphere which is acting as whatever the treasure is. The idea is that if the player walks up to this door and they wanted to press a key, for example, the door will not open until they have collected the key. And now, in my particular case, the key here is going to be this uh, box. Okay, so in our scene, uh, we have a very simple setup. We have uh, a box that I just basically drag out from the basic perimeters over here. We have a box also that I drag out from the basic primitives and, and rescaled it. And I have two trigger volumes, and that's going to act as uh, what the player is going to be interacting with. So with that in mind, let's jump in and uh, get started and, and sort of figure this out. So the first thing I want to do is I want to say if the player enters this triggered area, this green box, uh, we want to destroy this actor, so we just want to clear it, remove it from the from the world. Um, so let's jump into our blueprints and let's open up. We're actually just going to work in the level blueprints for the purposes of this video. So let's choose open level blueprint, and uh, let's drag this off here so it's a little easier to see what I'm doing um, in terms of uh, making references to assets. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to select this. Uh, trigger volume. I'm going to right click in here. I'm going to type in um, overlap. And we want to choose this option here that says on actor begin overlap. So when something overlaps this, what do we want to do? So first thing we want to define what what's going to be overlapping this. And that's going to be our third person player. So I'm going to click and drag away from this. I'm going to type in cast two third and this one right here third person character the object is going to go into the other actors and and that's essentially it for this so what this basically says is if the player um, has entered the trigger area we can do something now what we want to do is we want to take this actor so let's take this I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose get reference to cube and let's just type in destroy destroy actor and let's plug this in over here and let's press play so let's bring this down and press play so now if the player sort of enters this triggered area the box should destroy there we go so that's pretty simple um, let's do the same thing over here so let's take all of this press ctrl c and ctrl v and we want to swap this one out for this um, for the door, let's right click and choose uh, create a reference to the cube, put this in over here, and uh, we want to also select this, and we'll do the same thing, so overlap, so on actor begin overlap, there we go. Let's destroy the door, so right now if I save this, and then I choose play, what happens is I can destroy this cube if I'm inside the box and I can destroy the door. Now if I just 
press play and I don't destroy the cube but walk up to the door you can see that the door is still destroyed so this is where our boolean um, comes into effect first of all let me just take this and let's move this in and I just want to make it a little bigger so it's a little easier for the for the player to interact with this okay so going back to our level blueprint let's open up our level blueprint so what we want to do is we want to set a boolean value so I'm going to choose the new or the add new right here. I'm going to choose the variable and I'm going to choose or I'm going to give this a name of um, key is not selected. Key is collected. So the key has been collected. So when has the key been collected? Well, the key has been collected once the actor has been destroyed. So once this actor has been destroyed, that means that the key has been collected. So we click and drag this out and we're going to choose this set actor. Uh, so the set key uh, collected, we're going to check this option that says true and we want to plug this in. So right now what this says is that, hey, once the actor has been destroyed, you've now collected the key. Okay, great. So what can we do with that? Well, what we can do is we can now go back down here to the um, overlap. So when, when the player overlaps this um, trigger, what we want to do is we want to check, we want to see if that key has been collected. So we can do that um, like this. So we can take this one and drag off. I'm going to type in branch branch so what a branch does is a branch says that if something is true then do this like so do x for example if it is false then for example do y now in our particular case we want to see if the key has been selected or, or, or collected sorry so we take our variable right here which we've set to be true over here and we click and drag this into the condition. So the condition is that if if this key has uh, been has been collected, only then can we open the door. Okay. So let's save this and let's close this and let's press play. So right now, what happens is that if I watch the door this time, nothing's actually going to happen. I can't do anything. I can't open it. You know, maybe I can jump over it, but you know, the door is not opening. Now, if I walk to this area where the key is and I destroy this, okay, now it's destroyed. Now we can watch the door and you can see that the door has now opened and uh, it will reveal whatever it is that we have behind that door. So that's essentially what a Boolean does. It is essentially a yes, no trigger. Um, if, something is, if something is true, do this. And if it's not true, do that so basically think of it of a of a binary you know as a true false yes no um on off sort of value and then we can use it to check whether or not something is one of those states so that is the very basics of a boolean operation i'd like to thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you found this video uh, useful and informative and until next time bye bye for now